So uh, you came here to replace an injured leader of a team, uh, Keenan, uh, and shortly afterwards you became injured yourself. Uh, it's a very tough situation. I, having in mind expectations and everything, is the most challenging period in your career. Um, for sure. Um, I say this is one of the most challenging uh, seasons I've had. Um, just switching teams, coming to a new squad who's kind of already established, and now I'm. You know, I've been out for a few weeks, so just when I'm getting into the fold of things, I get injured. So, you know, just really nice to come back and just be focused as much as possible. But it's for sure been one of the most challenging things in my career so far, for sure. Uh, what's most important to overcome these difficulties? Um, I think just, you know, just the positive reinforcement, uh, just the encouragement from my teammates, my coaches, just knowing that, you know, um, just knowing that they need me back out there on the court and me just taking steps every day um, just to get healthy and just to be as 100% as I can uh, when I'm ready to step back out there. Uh, back in December, you had your first visit here in Kaunas with Anadolu. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, were your impressions about the country, the city, the team before you knew or will you come play here? Um, so I've never really been to the snow that much. I never... <laughs> really been to a city that snowed that much or that was this type of weather. Um, that was different for sure when we landed. But in terms of the fans, I think th this fan base is great. Um, just knowing that every game I've been to so far that's been EuroLeague has pretty much been sold out since I've been playing with the team. And um, the fan base was amazing. They're loud. Uh, the chants, uh, the starting lineups, That's I think that's one of the the most exciting parts of the game for me uh, specifically and just to know that the fan base is behind you uh, that just really means a lot. In Anadolu you played alongside an experience with experience uh, and decorated guards like Mitic mm -hmm. and uh, Larkin. In uh, what way these people are different from other players? What makes them so successful? Um, I would just say they just play with a certain type of confidence um, just when they know that when they shoot a shot, they believe that they're going to make it. Um, no matter if there's one, two, or three people guarding them, uh, I don't think it really matters. Um, I think really what separates them from everybody else is just, just the confidence out there on the court, for sure. Your first club overseas was based in Israel, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is it perfect destination for European rookies from USA? Uh, like many people say, how was the whole experience in there? Um, it was cool. It was cool. Uh, I, I went there during a time where it was COVID, so it was a little a, a little challenging being that um, it was my first year overseas, uh, my first year playing uh, European basketball. Um, it was a COVID situation, so um, that was tough. But um, just knowing that being in Israel, they you know for an American, they speak English and things of that nature, um, it made it more adaptable for sure. Labas, ne pikat su trukdžiau, bet ne pamirškiu paspausti subscribe ir like mygtuku. Playing one on one is probably your biggest strength on the court. Yeah. Here in Europe, coaches are often strict. Uh, they require to play accordingly to their playbook and etc. Uh, how important for you is the coach? Would you trust in your individual skill, and does it help your confidence? Um, I think that's, for me to be who I am, I think that's kind of everything. Uh, for a coach to really believe, believe in me um, and just to believe in my ability. Um, when a coach does do that, um, I think that I'm, I'm playing at my highest level and that's when I'm at my best. Um, knowing that I think I'm a player that could kind of deviate from the play a little bit um, and, you know, let my talent show out there on the floor. So. Knowing when the coach believes in that, um, I think that's when I'm at my highest level. Miles Turner was your team in college in Texas, and uh, judging your, from your Instagram post, you had bond between you, you two. Yeah. Uh, was it clear to you back then uh, that he would become one of the best big men in the whole world, and do you still keep in touch? Yeah, um, yeah, we still keep in touch. Uh, that's one of my good friends. That's one of my good friends. And yeah, I, to be honest, I always told him this that. He was the only player in college. I said that was better than me. So um, I knew that. I think that he was very good. As, as as soon as I seen him, I knew that he was gonna be one of the best bigs in the league for sure. Uh, what American thing is the m one that you miss the most when you're playing overseas? Um, one American thing in terms of basketball. That's tough. I would have to say probably the playing style is a little bit different. Um. I know in European basketball, it's more sets and plays are being ran and stuff like that. 
Um, I would say American basketball is more up and down. It's more of a fast-paced game, and that's kind of the game I'm used to. Um, so I would say that's probably what I miss the most. And if we leave uh, basketball aside? Yeah. The most important thing is just having my, friend, my friends and family around. Um, I would just say just having that support um, around would, would be cool. But at the same time, um, when you have a fan base like we have now, it's kind of the same thing. You know, it's a lot of positive things, a lot of you know, just positive reinforcement going around. So um, I think the fans uh, out of Zalgiri has kind of helped with that. Uh, can you tell us about uh, what other passion between, uh, besides basketball, uh, you have? And what are other things uh, that you do on a day off? Um, on my day off, uh, I play a lot of Warzone. I play a lot of Warzone. I play video games a lot. Um, I think that's one of my favorite video games. I play Warzone a lot and also Tekken. Tekken. Tekken is one of my favorite fighting games, so um, I would say I switch between those two a lot for sure. Nice. What about uh, sports games, 2K and FIFA? Um, I was playing 2K when I was in the game. When I was in the game, <laughs> when I was in the game, I played a lot. Um, ever since I haven't been in it, I kind of fell back from it a little bit. But um, you know, when I was in the NBA, I used to play the game a lot. So yeah. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you. Labas, aš Aistis ir nepamiršk prenumeruoti Betsyf LKL TV YouTube kanalą.